You've probably heard us use the word verify more often here on News 8. It's a new way for us to be even more transparent about our reporting. After we told you about that South Carolina teen who reportedly died from a caffeine overdose, a lot of you commented on Facebook asking, can caffeine really kill you? Well, our Verify team checked it out. Here's Jason Wheeler. Here's some background on this one. The coroner says 16-year-old Davis Allen Kripe drank a large diet Mountain Dew, a McDonald's latte, and an energy drink in two hours. The coroner says the caffeine likely caused an irregular heartbeat, especially since the teenager didn't have any history of medical problems. We talked with Dr. Colin Kane, the director of pediatric cardiology outreach at Children's Health. We also checked with the FDA and the Mayo Clinic. By our estimate, Estimates, Davis drank anywhere between 300 and 750 milligrams of caffeine. The Mayo Clinic says that's too much for an adult, let alone a teenager. Children and adolescents really shouldn't be drinking caffeine at all. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends no caffeine containing drinks for children and adolescents. That's because caffeine is a stimulant and it can increase your blood pressure and heart rate. In fact, a Mayo Clinic study found just one energy drink can increase your blood pressure enough to significantly raise your risk of a heart problem. In moderation, caffeine is not harmful. But if you take an excessive amount um, and if you are um, prone to arrhythmias or abnormal heartbeats, then caffeine can be dangerous. The FDA says 600 milligrams of caffeine or more, that's like seven cups of coffee, is just too much. So yes, caffeine can kill you if you drink a lot of it, and especially if you have other health problems that caffeine can aggravate. Jason Wheeler reporting for us tonight. Do you have uh, something that you want us to verify? Just tell our team. And we've made it easy. You can email verify at WFAA.com. You can send us a message on the WFAA Facebook page or tweet us at WFAA Channel 8.